In this, the final warm weather trip video, I'm going to show you what we did across three more sessions. You're going to see a basic drills session, for example, and then you're going to see more technical work. Session four, which is coming up now, was much more a typical coach shepherd workout with various drill units preceding some technical work technical work in particular from Ruby. You'll also see Adam here who has been training but we've been keeping him on a tight leash as he's been suffering from some aches and pains. So the guys did some basic positioning drills, some takeoff movements for example, and then some leg cycling drills plus some more dynamic takeoff movements, some box work, takeoff box drills, setting up the penultimate step and scissor drills, scissor bounds for example. Then Ruby went over to the pit and did some 10 step approach jumps and as you can see she was achieving a good takeoff and good distance but it was the speed into the takeoff which was particularly impressive. Ruby has jumped 609 at the time of making this video and the distances she was achieving off of 10 steps here around about the 560 mark would indicate that that, that PB is open for revision. In the next session it was more basic drills and for Adam some jumping. Now he's going to transfer from his left leg onto his right leg for the takeoff so that's not going to become an easy task. So it was good to see some actual pretty good takeoffs off, off of what would have been his wrong leg. He's changing legs because of a hamstring strain in the left and trying the right leg to see what's going to happen and it looks positive. Ruby did some run-ups and we had some difficulty getting her on the board. This was because I believe she was running faster as I've indicated earlier and also there was a strong following wind. We actually started off with a run up which was about 16 steps, 16 and a half in terms of where she was on the board. So we had to take it back about 20 pigeon steps in order to actually get her onto the board. But as you can see, she was generating good speed, positioning well through the phases and attacking well. And that's going to give her confidence for when she gets back into the UK to compete. For Jahisha, it was more full run-ups, so we're really at the sharp end of getting her ready for competition. And I began to think that perhaps the fact that she was bailing out of the step phase deliberately, I will add, and not going into the jump was affecting her and the ability to develop a long step phase. As obviously, if you're thinking about coming out of the step and not doing the actual jump, then you're going to abort some of the technical inputs earlier. Well, that, that was my way of thinking. So I instructed her to hold on to the step phase to the last particular second, millisecond, and almost go into a jump. And you'll see that that happened on one of the latter efforts. And it was a better distance apportionment of phase, phase ratio as well in that the step did open out. So sometimes you've got to cue your athletes accordingly and think about what they're doing and how you can really develop them. I'd also put marks down on the run-up at if I recall 5 meters and 9 meters 80 so a 4 meters 80 odd step phase and a 5 meter hop in order for her to achieve those targets and it was very interesting that from the get-go she actually was lining up in terms of the phases with those marks. Now those targets 9 meters 80 after the two phases should take you very easily onto nearly 14 meters if she completes a jump so fingers crossed that that's going to happen. Ruby did some more run-ups again and these were probably better than the previous days so she's very keen at the moment to be confident on her run-up and develop consistency and as she was only here for the four days it was okay on my part to do run-ups on consecutive days so there was carryover there was greater speed and one in particular looked like she would have jumped a very long way had it been a competitive effort and a jump completed. For Jahisha, this turned out to be probably the most intense and largest in terms of volume session of the week, as after the run-ups, it was onto some sprints over 20 meters, 30 meters, and 40 meters. And she was joined by James on some of these, who was running in his flat and not going 100% initially. 
and to maintain some condition, some sprint endurance, speed endurance, Jahisha and James then did four back-to-back 50 meter runs at a very fast speed with one minute's recovery between each. So that session was a very high neurally demanding session and physically. Plenty of speed work, run-ups, starts and near flat out turnaround runs. So not surprisingly, Jahisha in particular felt tired the next day and couldn't go through the full session, which was a strength and conditioning one, so she had to dial it back, if I recall. So you always need to be mindful of the toll that your training's taking on you, and if you don't feel up to it on a particular day or within a part of a session, then dial it back. I'll soon be reporting back to you guys on how my group are doing competitively, if I haven't done so already. Good luck with your competitions, of course, and your training. And do please subscribe to the channel and do please turn on the bell notification icon so that you can be notified of new videos when I upload them. Consider becoming a channel member where I post exclusive videos every month on topics that, as a coach or an athlete, are going to improve your performance. I'm able to delve deeper into those subject matters in those videos. For example, the latest one looked at post-indoor season training. The video is 17 minutes long and we look at my training plans, how I construct specific sessions and also how I tailor workouts to the needs of individual athletes. I know as a coach that trying to coach multiple athletes at the same time can be difficult. But in the video, Coach Athlete Members video number 18, I make some suggestions. So if interested, do go over to the homepage on your desktop, click on the join button and see what offers there are available. in the extremely accurate and portable freelap timing system then do get in contact with me and if you like the jump squad merchandise go to any of the channel's videos and click on the store underneath and you can get a 15 percent discount if you use the code jump 15. if you're interested in finding out more about theraguns and the theragun elite in particular check out the video on the channel and also look out for special offers and discounts it's great device, Bluetooth enabled, multiple speeds and great for rehab.